invite our president to the state podium to address the gathering and the people of Kenya. Karibu Mheshimiwa Rais. Asante sana. Tafadhali tafadhali tiketi chini wale wako na viti. Um, pongezi sana bwana Rigiji. Um, tumpigie makofi kwa kuongea Kiingereza kizuri. Na nimeona najua nimesumbuka sana hapa chini. Alikuwa hawa wazungu wakiongea na niuliza huyu amesema nini? Huyu amesema nini? Sasa na nimemsaidia sana naeleza huyu amesema hivi. Sasa amesimama hapa ameongea tena ile Kiingereza nikashangaa sasa huyu mtu kumbe alikuwa ni enjoy. This is a very special moment in the history of public delivery in our country. For decades, success in relieving citizens of the huge burden of human suffering and financial distress caused by illness has been elusive. The main reason for this is that our health system devoted itself exclusively to the provision of curative services and primary health and gave minimal attention to prevention and promotion of health interventions that begin at home, often before the onset of serious illness. At the consultative stage of the process by which we formulated the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, Kenyans made it very clear to us that the transformation of our public health care model was long overdue. Despite appreciable progress in enhancing the availability of healthcare infrastructure, technology and personnel access to curative health remained difficult and the cost so high that many thriving households have been plunged into serious financial trouble by the illness of a single family member. 36% of our citizens are at risk of being impoverished by the catastrophic financial burden of serious illness. And in fact, statistics show that a million Kenyans every year sink into poverty because of chronic illnesses of their family members. Kenyans, therefore, expressed their yearning for a new approach to healthcare, one that saved costs simplified the means of actualizing the fundamental constitutional right to the highest attainable standards of health set out in Article 43, 1A, and we met them directly halfway at their point of need. We agreed that a community health approach is the foundation of preventive health care, mainly because 70% of cases attended to in our hospitals are preventable. At the same time, every shilling invested in community health has a return of nine shillings saved in curative health care costs. We committed, therefore, to employ community health promoters as a critical component of the national primary health care system in addition to employing 20,000 healthcare workers. These are doctors, nurses, clinical officers.